One is, one I would say is that uh, as you're self-employed, you can take time off whenever you like. <laughs> you know, I quite often uh, get asked, they say, oh, it was nice and sunny last week. Did you go to the beach or something? I said, no, no, I'm working. Uh, so that is a common misconception. And uh, the other is that, uh, that it's a very, very hard job. Uh, that's what a lot of people think, but it doesn't have to be. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, how you arrange it. We've got everything just about right. You have to, you have to look carefully at your customers and the customers you want. Again, a mistake some people make is they do what they like. Say, for example, if I were to like jazz music, it doesn't mean that I should put it on at lunch times, because you know you must look at what the customers want. And I think we've got that just about right at the moment. Right menus, right products to sell, right pricing. So uh, that's it. Think about your customers. 25% of all car scales sold in Britain is drunk within the M25, so it's very much a southeastern thing. The idea of flat caps and whippets and people drinking car scale up north has radically changed in recent years. Uh, I don't know uh, all the statistics, but uh, the Morning Advertiser is a trade paper which comes out twice a week, and uh, that's full of useful information about, uh, about car scales and how it's a growing sector, especially a growing sector around here. A lot of pubs have closed down, which uh, probably should have closed down anyway because uh, they weren't used. Uh, food has become much more important. Uh, the style of drinking has changed. We don't actually have a cafe culture like the government would like us to think, but uh, it has changed a lot. You, you get a lot more women in pubs. Pubs have become a lot more female friendly. The government uh, allowed for people to apply for a license any time up to 24 hours and most people didn't. They just uh, applied for the similar hours they had or well, they don't use them. Here, for example, I've got a license till 1am, but we always close at 11 because we're in a residential street. If I had people standing outside at half 12, a quarter to one in the morning, or leaving at one, I think there'd be a lot of complaints. And you have to take that into account these days. Uh, to 10, 15 years ago, people used to get away with some appalling like, pubs and they'd just open a door and feel as you know, you're right that people had to come in and drink, but people are a lot more fussy now. Uh, with more and more new larger scale pubs opening, like uh, Wetherspoons, for example, people think that uh, yeah, there's some pretty good standards here. There's nice furniture, nice fittings. So uh, it's up to everyone's game a little, I think. And it's quite common for somebody to move into a pub and say they have a, a slightly rougher element, they'll price them out. Uh, I did similar here. I took out three particular products which uh, some customers drank and I wanted them to go. And I came in and uh, ordered these drinks and, and the barmaid said, sorry, we don't sell them. I said, what do you mean we don't sell them? We always drink them. So I have to, have to try somewhere else then.